This is my uh, Easy Go Power Stroke Harley golf cart. And these knobby tires, not only are they uh, an incredibly rough ride on the tar, on the, on the concrete, but they are tearing up my grass. So, what are the odds in Podunk, Louisiana, somebody is selling brand new tires and rims that will fit this exactly that are street tires? Hell of a deal. I priced new tires that would fit on the rims that I have, and they were 70 bucks each. 280, almost 300 bucks, uh, more than that shipped. And I got these tires with these rims for 200 bucks, four of them. So uh, let me get this thing jacked up, get these tires on them. And while I got the back tires off, I'm gonna see if I can adjust those brakes because right now they don't exist. Okay, there is an adjustment in here. And uh, I'm almost positive that is it. And I think if I get my screwdriver in there, I can turn this and make these uh, brake shoes come out more. So uh, let me get to turn and see if that works. Well, I can't see in here or feel in here well enough to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to uh, pull this nut off of here and pull this uh, drum off. There's no, no other adjustments that I can, there's no access point any other way. So I got no choice and I need brakes because uh, I have none. So let me get this off and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, there it is. Now I know what I'm looking for. This little thing right here on the end was what I was wanting. And the way you adjust them is you stick your screwdriver through that hole. And they leave that hole there for a reason. And uh, you adjust this star. out. I'm going to need both hands to do that. Actually, I, I may get a couple of turns on this just to make sure that I can turn it and then put this drum back on and uh, uh, adjust these with a the drum on. I wouldn't say these are worn down at all, but uh, this has a strap wrapped around it and I wondered why. I saw it when I bought it. It didn't, uh, it didn't, you know, I asked the lady who sold it what that was all about. She didn't know. Now I know. These uh, rubber bushings in here, can you see how wore out those rubber bushings are? There's a good half inch of distance between the bushing and the axle. So this will need bushings. Not a big deal though, I can do that. But uh, kind of got a little snookered on this. A very, not dishonest, but... Uh, it's not what the lady said it was, that's for sure. There's a lot of problems and a lot of work. Well, anyway, let me uh, let me get this these brakes adjusted and that rim on, and we'll have a good look at it. All right, this is the castle nut. This is the other side, and uh, I've got to take this castle nut off because I still cannot see in this hole to see where I have to adjust. It's too dark and got spider webs and cobwebs and everything in there and I just can't see. That's my favorite noise. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You should work in a tire shop. Mm -hmm. I was kidding. Oh. That was called sarcasm. No, never mind. That's my favorite noise. <laughs> that would be sarcasm. You can shut that off for a minute. Okay. Curse words. The light too. Okay, he said all of his cuss words. I'm done with the cussing. So what'd you say about that lady? She needs to be a used car salesman? Yeah. So what are you doing now, dear? I'm uh, spreading these brakes out, and I'll tell you, these brakes, this brake is bad, and this is a little low on this side. 
So uh, I'll have to put brakes on for too long. So go get them now while you have all this off. No, that's all right. Oh. I've already spent, I spent 200 bucks on tires. I just had to buy longer lug nuts because look at here, the regular size lug nuts won't fit in these holes here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I had to buy longer lug nuts. And uh, I'm not even gonna tell you how much I had to spend on them. mechanics out there yelling right now don't beat on the cast iron drum <laughs> that's what i do matter of fact i'll get a bigger hammer <laughs> i wasn't even holding it in the right spot oh well so what would uh terrell say terrell mm -hmm. terrell would say go like... make him a sandwich <laughs> <laughs> all right i gotta back this off a skosh I can't get it right. What I, I have, I have to meet this hole here okay. to get the pin through there. I don't know. Why. Got it. I don't know why I can't video. Stupid. Plus, I'm getting up. All right, I gotta go. For some reason, that compressor is not kicking on, and uh, I don't have enough juicy, juicy juice. juice. So, well, you must have flipped a break. Oh, you something. know what? Maybe that's what happened. Maybe. Okay. You? All right. You see, there's a rubber boot here. That rubber boot tore, and of course, you know what's next. The ball joint is completely wore out. Completely. But. <laughs> Really, it's the uh, tie rod end, not the ball joint. It's tie rod end, so that's not so bad. I can replace that. Yeah. Might be, I'll have to check the cam pins. Yeah. It's all doable, but uh, I've got so many other things to do. I did not want to mess with this. All right, next little project is uh, I'm putting on a new mirror. This thing here, it does nothing but rattle and vibrate, and uh, it's you can't tighten it up. It's useless to me. So I'm taking that off. I got to unscrew the roof and raise the roof a little bit because my the new bracket has to go right up here into that. And uh, <clears throat> let me get started. Boy, this thing is quiet. <laughs> Our mirror, that's a good mirror. That's going to really serve me well now. All right, what's next? Oh, yeah, I got to put them uh, the tires that come off it. I'll put it on Craigslist. Good tires. I bet you I could get 150 for them with the rims. All right. I gotta go in and uh, price brakes, the bushings, the tie rod end, a carburetor, and a fuel pump. I don't think I showed you a picture of it with the new rims and tires on. Can you imagine if I sold those mud grips, uh, lug tires? With the rims for 150, I would only be into these new rims and tires for 50 bucks. That would be oh so cool. Well, that's that project. Let me uh, let me sit a minute and tell you what's going on. Breezy's over there. Got him a, a squirrel up in the tree. He's barking at. Uh. Monday, I go in for surgery. 
get my thyroid took out. And please, all you homeopathic people, I know you mean well, but uh, what I have wrong with me uh, can only be fixed if it's removed. So let me save you the, the research and trouble and, and uh, the typing. I'm not going to uh, eat blueberries and then take a bath in bleach and everything's going to be okay. It's uh, far beyond that. So anyway, Monday the 8th at 6 a.m. I got to be there. I uh, had a phone call. It was my wife. She's about 200 feet away. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's pretty bad uh, when uh, she's on one side of the yard and I'm on the other and we can't holler so we have to call. <laughs> she just wanted to know what, bar what Breezy was barking at. It sounded like a a frantic bark and no that's his I'll chew you up if you come down here bark so anyway uh, 6 a.m. on the 8th of April uh, I'll be having surgery it's supposedly a uh, just uh, two hours or less and uh, overnight stay as long as my calcium level doesn't fall too far down and uh, we'll go from there it's causing me a lot of trouble breathing Sore throat, coughing, swallowing, and uh, it's time to do something about it. All right, that's, that's it for this video. We'll see you.